welcome back guys um i'm decided to make this short video just because i actually fancy some carrot cake um i also know my mum absolutely loves carrot cake and i recently found out that my father-in-law likes it as well so um all as always i've got the dry ingredients in this one the wet ingredients in this one and i'm just about to add the last ingredient which are the nuts uh, the recipe is on my steady site if you want to make carrot cake the way that I make it. There are so many different ways. Um, but this is a nice simple way. And today I'm actually going to put them in cupcakes. Cases. Um, only because I actually can't find my inserts from my loaf tins. I did want to do these as mini loaves again because that's really but um, unfortunately I can't find them and I don't know where I've put them I've obviously put them in a safe place so anyway back to the carrot cake so as I said if you start with your dry ingredients in one bowl add your wet ingredients in another it just then keeps your whole side nice and clear and everything's away and I'm actually just going to pop the nuts in and give that a good mix up Most people like to either like using walnuts and that. I like a mix because not all the time the nuts that you want are it. You're well, not all the time you can get the nuts that you want. Um, so making it nice and easy, I'm using actually mixed nuts, mixed fruit and nuts. So that's all lovely mix, and I'm going to gently tip that into my mixer. See, I get to use the kitchen aid again. So chuffed. Anyway, right, let's get this going. And just gently, I'm going to pour the dry mix as carefully as possible into the oh. hole. There we go. That looks really nice. And I'm just going to let that take for a few minutes. That is looking really good. This is so nice. Not that, don't get me wrong, I do like the old ham, but this is an incredible, incredible piece of equipment. I highly recommend it. If you've got the chance to get one, grab it. Oh, that looks really good. All right. I think that is enough of that. Oh yeah. Right, so guys. Now our mix is done. What you want, you see how it's dropping off that? That's the consistency we actually want. We don't want it too runny. Um, if you are making it in the loaf tins, you may want it just a little bit thicker than that. So I let you be the own judgment because it depends what you're making it in. Uh, obviously, if you're doing cake cases or in a six inch cake tin, um, this is perfect. All right, let's take that off. Oh, I always struggle with that. I'm down. I will get the knack of this. Where is it? Oh, there it is. Oh, for God's sake. Right. Do you know what? I'm just going to get a bit tissue. And I'll deal with that in a minute. Because I'm not going to sit here while you watch me struggle with your kitchen aid. So, let's get that off a bit. There we are. All right. Just do the sensible thing. Take the bowl off. Right, as I said, I'm making cake cases, and what I'm going to do, I'm going to, when these are nice and cool down, I'm going to fill them with my lovely um, butter cream icing, because that's, yeah, that was the whole idea. So, into small cake cases, they go. Alright, as I said, you try and make sure that you actually use the same spoon. 
um, for doing your cakes and then you're assured to get the same measurements out. I haven't done this for a while, so this would be interesting. I'm looking at a big size spoon, sort of like that. I forgot it's got a handle on it. Oh. All right. And there we go. I'm interested to see how big these will get. And the dogs are barking in the background as probably usual. Here we go. So, guys, on that note, while my dogs are going off, um, I'm going to continue filling the cake cases. Uh, I'm saying about halfway. So, we'll just top that one up a little bit. I'm going to go for about halfway. Um, let me see how large they get. And I'll be back with you after I've filled these up because you don't want to see me filling these up. It's a boring job. That's not, but the fun bit is they're going to taste great. As you can see, guys, I almost got two trays. I really think that could be my judgment on how much I think is in each of these little cases. So, I don't know, too bad though. Yes. Anyway, um, I'm going to put these in the oven at 160 because I want I don't want my ovens actually quite powerful, um, and I don't want them to cook really fast. I want them to take nice time, and I want them to be spongy when they come out. Um, so I'm going to actually cook these um, for. Oh, um, sorry. I'm going to cook these on 160 for 25 minutes. Well. Um, 20 minutes sorry uh, take that back I'm going to cut these for 20 minutes the same as I do fairy cakes um, but on a lower temperature uh, and then we'll have a look and see how they're doing uh, because I've not done this I've not done carrot cakes like this and I know they should be taking a little bit slower so in the oven with these lovely boots and I'll be back hopefully when they rise so guys, I am really happy how these have come out. Oh, my little mini carrot cakes. So I'm going to let these cool down. And then I'm going to fill them with a buttercream icing. But what I'm going to do with what I originally wanted to do was I'm actually going to cut these little bad boys in half and put the cream in and make them a big cake. So, well, as I said, I'm going to let these completely cool down. I'm going to put them to one side and I'll be back. I yeah, made them look pretty. So I hope you come back with me, guys. All right, I'll see you in a bit. Uh, this is just an idea you can do with your cupcakes. As I said, I ideally wanted to create little mini loaves, but I can't find my inserts. So I've made this with your basic buttercream. Uh, obviously, the recipe is on my study page uh, if you wanted to create the buttercream. Obviously, you don't have to have it with it, but it's your choice. Um, if you want to make them a little bit more interesting, just cut them in half and it makes it more of a cake. So, I hope you enjoy them as much as I did. Yes, I did make more than this, but we seem to have had them. So, but there we go. That's my version of carrot cake.